say, I wouldn't have blamed you for saying Sherlock Holmes because I decided to go gay for a hologram of Space Dandy. No, no, fair so, enough. No, I, I, you weren't wrong. I'm just saying there are other options. There are other options. There are other options. They're wrong, but there are other options. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to a jam-packed episode of Super Fancom. Tonight, we'll kick back, relax, with a casual conversation entitled <laughs> SFC Elf World. Um, I'm Retro Rick, and I'm joined by Fanboy Gif. Hey, everybody. Uh, Hemlock Inks. Hi, what's up? Tyga. Hi. Hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. <laughs> uh, Zimmerman Joe. That's me. Uh, Dragonix is back. Yo, yo, Pyraka! Uh, and we got a newcomer, Sam. Yo. <laughs> and Honking Chicken. And Honking Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Was uh, that the Zoidberg impression again? <laughs> uh, and we might be joined by Jake later on. Uh, um, this is the Squeeze Me Chicken. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I was a bit worried that I was I was a bit worried that I was going to be late, but yeah, luckily um, luckily I got off work of work just in time. But if you hear again, if you hear any rustling in the background, it's probably me eating the food I got to go from there. Okay, uh, we're gonna do something different here. It's an idea I've been toying with for a while. It's called Elf World. <laughs> Uh, basically, we all have made our own characters in some aspect, in like a video game or D&D, an RP account, or Facebook, etc. <coughs> Mary Sue! <coughs> <coughs> original, original character, Donut Steel. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I mean, now, how did you know his name I, uh, is Donut Steel? Yeah, you invented Donut Steel? I love that character. I read Donut yeah. Steel fanfic all the time. I have I have way too many OCs for me to know what to do with, honestly. Okay, and the basic concept is if you can live in any universe, be it a video game, book series comic, etc., and using the, that as a premise, you can use any character that's ever existed in that world in the following con. So, like, Harry Potter, the Jewish universe, Street Fighter, Legend of Zelda, or you can narrow it down to, like, even, like, if you choose, like, Neverland, you can say, like, the Neverland from the movie Puck. Okay. Um, okay. It's, it's, it's I would want to live. All right, hold on, hold I on. would want to live in the Neverland Hook universe, but only if it's a version of that universe where Rufio doesn't die. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Rufio. All right. Um, if you're at home, pour one out for Rufio on your carpet, and then quickly grab a sponge because. You're probably- <laughs> <laughs> no, I have that sponge the entire time, folks. All right. Um, uh, man, it's freezing where I am right now. Hang on. Hang on, for those for those who don't for those who don't know, I am I am yeah I am in Minnesota, and it is it's absolutely oh my okay some stuff. All right, uh, let's start with you, Gif. Uh, what would what universe would you like to live in? If I, see, if I had to pick a universe that I would that I would live in. Let me set some rules. Uh, is this forever, or is this gonna? Am I, am I visiting? Is this am no, I stuck this, there? This, for this, this can is, I vacation here? You know, <laughs> well, you. I mean, I guess you can, but this is basically like your drop. Your drop. Your basically drop in. Okay, so I'm just I'm just picked up, tossed into this universe, yeah. and in whatever capacity that I want. So this is like uh, what is it, ReZero style, where yeah. I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah. Just you, dropped you, in, and here we go. You wake up, and you're like, in the universe. Yeah, it's basically yeah. like, pull out your fan fiction and just start reading it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so um, what world would I want to live in? I, I think if I had to pick my number one choice for the world that I'd want to live in, uh, it would probably, uh, not including Family Guy, which we talked about before recording, because... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. if you're going to live in a world, that's always going to be the, the first pick. Uh, I think if I had to pick a world, I think I would pick... 
like pre warp Star Trek. Ooh, but like sorry. before it was Star Trek, when it was still just kind of Earth. Uh, but like okay. maybe maybe after World War Three, yeah. but like at the point where warp technology becomes a thing. Just because you're still kind of living just in a generic world, but they've already like phased out war. So if you stay on Earth, Ooh. I feel like your life's pretty good. You don't Isn't even there have a to series like, about that. So before it's kind I'm of like, like a utopia. <laughs> yes, you know, like. Thing. The problem with the Star Trek universe is essentially if you are on any of the ships. Because if you're on any of the ships and you're not somebody really important, yeah. you're, you're effectively going to die. But if you stay on Earth and you just do your regular life, like they phased out money. There's oh. like no conflict or war. Mm-hmm. Medicine is utopia. like being scanned. Yeah, so like if you stay on Earth, you're, you're living in this pretty sweet utopia. But I feel like you have to get past the World War Three and all that crazy stuff and, and like but i would want to be like before before like next gen because right. that's when that's when we started getting invaded by like <laughs> everything under the sun Fair also enough. when star trek started to suck yeah. well hey hey <laughs> at least to hey, some people patrick stewart would kick kirk's ass <laughs> oh no <laughs> all right now oh, let's not get into this oh, all right and let there be Flame Wars. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> moving on. So, Hem- Hemlock, what do you got? Oh, okay. So, let, let me find my fan fiction. <laughs> no. um, use my lewds. <laughs> so, oh, my. my. I know, right? <laughs> also, I'm getting a bit of... Oh, oh chicken's on. chiming in. <laughs> um, I'm getting a bit of, bit of echo, like some mic feedback. My... The audio is coming out of someone else's thing. It, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Well, it's coming out okay. of somebody's thing. Jeez. Hey. <laughs> you should be in a world where <laughs> sounds aren't coming out of your thing. Uh, oh, come on. I that was... My uncle died for that. That was a cheap <laughs> shot. That was a cheap <laughs> shot. That was right. too easy. Um, so, I have two. I think right. two top ones. So I think my first pick would be it'd have to be like the DC universe because I would be a Blue Lantern. Good I'd sure. be a member of the Blue Lantern Corps and I'd represent hope across the universe. Beautiful. That right. and I'd probably try to date Batman. Which Batman? Which we'll, which we'll oh. get into later. Which we'll get into later. See, <laughs> see, you guys, you guys all went the route of like wanting to be something important. I just went for the generic world where I could be an anybody and still have a pretty sweet life. Yeah, and, don't like, worry. Like I would want to live I wanna because, be- like. I would be perfectly fine living in, like, the Dragon Ball universe, because essentially every time you're dead in that universe, you just get oh, wished back, back yeah. to life, oh, completely yeah. oblivious <laughs> that you've been killed. So your life's pretty cool. Like, you don't need to be the hero, because you don't want to be the shitty heroes anyway. The exactly. only hero that's worth anything would be being Goku, because everyone else is still going to die at some point. Oh, so, like, really? you're better. The you're better. Vegeta can eat a dick. Well, look, He's still not going to. Okay? Hold on, hold on. Go. But I would be uh, voiced by right. Chris you know, Cabin. I so for nine Do I need to get the chicken out? <laughs> <laughs> See, the chicken agree. Yeah, I, clearly, I clearly heard Goku in that chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. As right. I was saying, yeah. I would be, first of all, DC Universe, <laughs> because Blue Lanterns, Blue Lantern. and then and Batman. Batman. Actually, <laughs> Red, Batman. Red Hood. <laughs> Better Which Batman? Such a Jason Todd fangirl. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Which Batman? Yeah. Are we talking Adam West? Are we talking. <laughs> well, yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. Valid question. It's a comic book. <laughs> as, 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 long, as long as it's um, not. As long as it's not Crazy Steve, I think you're good. I mean, fair to be fair, dead or alive, Adam, I would date Adam West Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would resurrect his body, put him in the bat suit, and still date him. I mean, you're already set. You're a necromancer. You're going to oh, date oh Adam West. That would be a great life. That would be a really good Last life. time you said you, had, you thought Bob the Builder was hot. <laughs> what? Somebody, I mean, know, right? I mean, I, 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 ship, I ship Bob the Builder and Thomas the Tank Engine. That's some <laughs> oh, 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 fan <laughs> All right. I so used to second, watch both of those when I was a kid. All right, guys. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to bang the gavel here in a second. Um, the second choice would be Yu Yu Hakusho. Ooh. Oh. I just love the whole, like, yokai and the Japanese thing and everything. So I just think that's, like, a really cool, like, the movies are really neat. Um, I'd like to hang out with Ye. Speaking of yokai, <laughs> speaking of yokai that, that would lead nicely into mine. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, those are my two choices. All right. Uh, Tiger, what about you? Um, well, because I'm complete weeb trash, I'd probably live in the Persona or the JoJo verse. <laughs> per- I, knew I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 And you know what? Even if I die, at least I'll die Zarly. <laughs> yeah, ah, you sure, you go. you'll die That's with that true. plundered look on your face. Like, Probably. Huh, really? Like I'm, if I I'm not just... a stand user, I'll just see weird floating shit and not know what's going on. It's fine. But, <laughs> but the question is, would you would you have a dog that has a human face because halfway through the reanimators? I would have just a dog with a human face. face. Come on. Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah uh, what stand? What would your stand be? Ooh, that's mm. a good question. Yeah, cause I yeah, cause I've I've come up with a few with, with a few original stands myself, as well as I have uh, yeah a friend of mine, American Artifacts, told me a story about this JoJo RP he was in with a few of his friends, friends uh, several years back, and it went horribly wrong. I should uh, I should yeah we should tell you that story. We have it recorded and we're yeah and as soon as I finish. And it's making the video for it. It's going up on my channel for the world to see. Horribly wrong as in terrible or horribly wrong as in sexual? Because this is both. Horrible. Yes. Horribly oh. wrong as okay. in as in, uh, as in as in two horrible people as the GMs, co-GMs, who were aware that are uh, that are our unfortunate hero was a furry and therefore Oof. did terrible things to him. Oof. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, just Joe? the one, though? Just the one? <laughs> or, well, that was two, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Joe, on to you. Uh, I actually am kind of stuck between two also, but I think I kind of made my decision between the two. But the, um... <laughs> The one that actually lost between my two, I was thinking of. I was actually thinking of Game of Thrones, but okay. I why feel would like you I- want to live in Westeros? You would die in five seconds. Yep, I would die in five seconds. No way. <laughs> uh, glorious <laughs> seconds. Hey, you keep on being, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or say, yeah, same. Um, but actually, the one who won out of my two that I picked, I actually want to live in Middle Earth from Lord of the Rings. Oh, <laughs> nice. I've been watching Lord of the Rings way too much recently. Honestly, like, like I'm talking binging the entire series like once a week. Extended <laughs> version. This is, this is I yeah I have the I have the uh, theatrical cut of Fellowship of the Ring and the extended versions of the other two. Oh wow! I've actually never yeah. seen the extended versions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. According to Cinema Wins, who actually did a really great video series, video series on Lord of the Rings, the ex- <coughs> the, ex- the theatrical cut of Fellowship is the way to go. But, but the um, but as for the second two, the um, the extended versions are probably the best. Yeah, he well, he usually prefers the theatrical cuts overall. But he appreciate he can but he said watching through the extended versions for them, he he could appreciate those as well. Now makes sense. Let's draw to Middle Earth though, because I mean you've got the war, you've got the rings, you've got the giant floating fire eye. So what what was the draw? <laughs> yeah, what what makes Middle Earth so sexy to you? Because I feel like I feel the, the like there's that's a dark place to want to go to. Yeah, it's a very dark place. But like, I want to kind of go in between, like after um, the Hobbit, but before Lord of the Rings. So before everybody oh, yeah? starts okay. hanging on, more well, shit gets real. Do you just want to? Do you just want a second breakfast? Go, to jo- why would you go on to before b- before the Hobbit? You know, when things were even a little more peaceful, in my opinion. Mm, so, yeah. <laughs> the probably the reason is because I would want to be a dwarf. I'm a yeah, huge. Yeah. Dwarf. 
<laughs> yeah, but like, so, the interests were pretty, pretty minimal. Again, why wouldn't you go back to earlier yeah, when there yeah, were like, like a lot of dwarves? Why would you go to when there's like a handful of us? I don't know because I thought there was like too many, but like we like, don't, we don't really oh, know. You want to be an in desire commodity. That's what it is. <laughs> you want to be. You want to be that hot, desirable dwarf bachelor. There's only like eight of us, lady. Come on, you know you want some three foot tall. You, um, but wait, uh, so hot, desirable dwarf bachelor. Uh, I, I trust you. So basically, Keely. Who, I swear to God, survived in the book. Um, no, he died. They all died. Well, well, like, like, yeah, I, I, I swear to God they changed stuff like that for the movie. Which is, which is part, of, which is part of the reason that we do that we do not own Battle of the Five Armies. We have the first two, and we watch those on the regular, on the regular. But, no, the third one was kind of a letdown. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was okay, was, but... It was my favorite. All right. I swear um, to God. All right. uh, Sam, what about you? Fridging so... Achilles was, so actually... was a bad idea. And I swear to God, Thorin didn't die until, like, long afterwards in the book. So, I was thinking about this recently, and... After watching an old cartoon, um, the re the world of um, Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century, <laughs> pretty much the future, oh, but crime is on such a rampage that huh. they resurrect Sherlock Holmes. So, I'm a normal person here in 22nd century London. The technology is fantastic. And worst case scenario, something happens to me, I got Sherlock Holmes solving that case. What do I have to worry about? <laughs> <laughs> but no, to be fair, like that, you might as well all. you might as well just be like in Gotham in the Batman Beyond times because you're essentially living in the same reality. <laughs> While that's true, I don't have to worry about psychotic clown people in in twenty second century <laughs> London. But do you? And yeah. then, and, and to add on the fact he has a robot Watson. Mm, robots. Oh wow. <laughs> so robots. yeah. It, you balance right. out there. It's you know I don't have to worry about crazy clown people. It's London. <laughs> Technology is awesome. Sherlock and Holmes. It's Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Yeah. But Batman and then second Batman. There are <laughs> two Batmans. Two Batmans. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, Batman. yeah, one Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes to two Batman. <laughs> yeah, hold on here. Hold on here. Sherlock this isn't Holmes. even old Sherlock Holmes. They brought him back to like he is twenty five years old. So he's young Sherlock Holmes doing all the stuff that Sherlock Holmes does. <laughs> but two, I, I see your point. But, but two, Batmans. two Batmans. Is it? Is it? Yeah, be, is it you... beneficial cucumber patch? Sherlock Holmes. No, no, it, it's bubble snatch. It, no, it's bubble star candy gram. <laughs> you mean British? You, you mean British guy silly name? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wimbledon tennis match. All right, we are all final name done with this. That we did not bring up one thing we should have brought up. What do we mean? This Batman Sherlock Holmes discussion. We're completely forgetting Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. Yeah, oh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, okay. I mean, let's get, let's get this. Duckburg. I, Duck <laughs> I, I mean, the things that happen in Duckburg. <laughs> yeah. Astounding. But life's like a hurricane in Duckburg. <laughs> yeah, but. Ducklers, people. Ducklers. <laughs> right. Oh my uh, god. Okay. Right. Dre, what Here's about why you wait, but here all right, our okay. argument for why okay. you wouldn't want to live in Duckburg is because scientifically accurate ducks just shit everywhere. Oh, <laughs> no. It's the dirtiest place in the universe. <laughs> well that's why that's why it's not scientifically accurate. Thank God. Ducks that they're corkscrew long. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I mean, they, he, the, you know who wore pants in Duckburg? Nobody. Lunch pad. No. Yeah. Oh, lunch pad. And That's and right. He had those like, old pirate. He had like those old pilot pants. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Stuck too. All right, Dre. All right, Dre. Dre or on to you. What's your uh, universe? Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So I'm kind of split between two. Between two. Uh. I would like to live in Gensokyo from Toho if I could could either be a yokai 
or a magician. Listen, I think I'm pretty sure human. I'm pretty sure just any any human can can learn magic magic and with enough training, enough training, get to the point where they can become a where they can forsake their humanity and become a magician yokai like Alice. Yep. Or Marissa. Yeah, yeah, Marissa. Marissa is at the level where she could do that, but she refuses to do that. That's because if she became immortal, she wouldn't have the excuse of, "Hey, I'll give back all the stuff I stole when I die." <laughs> completely oblivious of what that's doing to poor Alice, who is going to have to live forever without her. Damn it, Marissa! Why must you be so Marissa-ish? She saw the, she, Marissa stole the precious thing. <laughs> I no, do. Thing. I am a hardcore Marissa slash Alice shipper, and I have no regrets. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one more world that I would live in, and I and and I feel oh, yeah? like that's only because there's there's a mild ability that anybody can do it, even though only the main character is shown normally doing it, and that would be I'd probably want to live in, like, the Scott Pilgrim universe. Oh, fuck yeah, Scott Pilgrim. Where it's just, where it's just okay. your daily life seems to be intermixed with comic book and fan... It's like essentially living in Ready Player One, but oh, without oh, having yeah. to be in a game, where, like, mm. just, just, like, it's things that happen yeah. to you suddenly get little emoticons and little pop culture yes. references. <laughs> yeah. Like, that to me would be a cool universe because we spend so much of our daily lives doing that to each other through phones and text messages and stuff. Where we're just, like, you know what you need to do? You no, actually cool. need to be more involved in your local anime community because when we go yeah. to conventions, that's all we do. Yeah. Yes, but I mean, like, if physically, if physically something, if you were getting revived by a paramedic and when they woke up, a little one-up appeared over them and they were like, I'm alive! <laughs> like, that to me would be like an actual little icon popped up in front of them. That'd be cool. If you could punch somebody and they exploded into money, that'd be pretty oh, cool. That'd be there's, a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of elements in that universe that make it very desirable. Yes. Uh, the only argument I have is that the economy would, the economy would be shit because every time you punch someone, they turn into money. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but to be fair, the only one who turned into, like, an equivalent amount of money, even by today's standards, is still pretty low, was Gideon. And yeah. you have to find, like, a crazy already millionaire well, person to, plus so it, right. it, plus it, it, was, it, was, it was in Canada so it would be Louise and, I, and, yeah. okay. the way that I would skew it though was is that when you punch somebody you were punching them and taking their money um, like in a video game my, was like going crazy. oh okay so it was like the money you get is their pocket change per se. yes that's why like the first one gave them like a dollar forty three okay <laughs> They got, and then Gideon gave millions of dollars because Gideon was a millionaire. He was a successful guy. Yeah. So I feel, and then like the, the, the actor gave more money and the musicians gave more money. So like the higher up that ladder you went, but I think that's, it's more like you're taking from their account. You're not just generating more money. I feel like okay. that's the way video games were supposed to be. Like you kill somebody and there's their money. And that's just the money they had. And then they just overhyped it. Yes, they drop their money and their items, and it's the character. You get to pick up their money and items. So, essentially, I feel like that universe goes by that same principle. You're not just... You know, speaking of keep dropping them. stuff, the most annoying thing of dropping thing was Sonic the Hedgehog and those goddamn rings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you trip oh, over man. a rock, and then there's just <laughs> rings everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> your, your, life, everywhere. your life is tied to those rings. You lose all but one. You're technically immortal. You lose that last one, you're screwed. Yeah, that's true. Tether that last <laughs> ring <laughs> to your wrist. But you only, it's only if... Yeah, it's only if... If, it's, if you, um... Get hit while you have zero rings that you die. <laughs> yeah, so you still have that will have a chance to grab at least one ring back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now moving on to the second question. Your best friend in this oh, universe. Fuck. Oh, oh no! Yep. Oh my God. Got? Yep. You're, you're up. My my best friend. I I'll go with both. My best friend in the the probably the pre the the pre like Star Trek Star Trek universe. Um. And it could be, uh, uh, and like anyone from like any of the series that ever like existed. Ah oh, man! All right, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Commander Riker. Bearded, bearded or not? <laughs> I'd have to what, pull him. Oh, bearded, 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 because that beard, <laughs> that changed. 
That yeah. he was the only man to ever have a beard in that show. Yeah. <laughs> he may have had the only beard in the universe. He was a he was a rebel without a cause. With a cause. That cause was to have a beard. <laughs> Um, so I would probably say him, although I'd have to time travel him, which in the Star Trek universe is not all that unplausible because nope. things travel forward and backward. And, I mean, hell, in the pre-warp Star Trek, Riker was there <laughs> to help build the warp engine. So that I could just go, Dave, I'll go on the ship, be my friend instead. Yeah. Things are fine. So yeah, probably him. <laughs> I, would say, I would say him, but definitely with the beard because... The beard. Because the beard. The, the beard. The beard. Um, and then I'm going to go with my other pick, which I've already forgotten. Oh, the, the, the Scott Pilgrim universe. Um, Wallace. Uh, Let's be fair, I would, Wallace. No, no, Wallace. I would say Wallace, but but I feel like if you live with Wallace, like Wallace was kind of an asshole because <laughs> he, he he let Scott like live in his life in all that crap and then just kicked him out. But like, just was kind of. He was an enabler, I guess, until he got bored of Scott, I and mean, then he yeah. was like, "Yeah, get out. I'm done with you." So, like, I, I would say Wallace is not that great a friend, but he's a tartar sausage. <laughs> um, I, I would have to say, if I had to pick one, um, man, I, I, I would, I, and this is gonna get a lot of hate, but I would have to say. <laughs> Again, chicken is waiting in anticipation for him to hurry up and make his mind. <laughs> I would say Envy Adams after she got her shit together. Yeah, Envy because she's Adams still, partying with mere mortals. Because she's still <laughs> rich, and after Scott straightened her shit out, and she became not a shit bag bitch. <laughs> she's still rich and successful, so I wouldn't have to do shit. <laughs> okay. And plus, we already know that she dates losers because she dated Scott. So I wouldn't have to do any of that. <laughs> yeah, but she was a loser when she dated Scott too. Oh, truth. Okay, him watch you're up. <laughs> All right. Well, in the DC universe, you have to hang out with one of the bat kids. But um, Damien. I love Damien. He's a little oh, shit. I love it. Damien. <laughs> but actually, no, I'm going to dig deep into the geek bag, and I'm going to say Midnighter and Apollo. Mm. I do not know who those are. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they are iconic gay characters. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, I think that's yes. what I'm talking about. Uh, the Batman yes. and Superman from a different Earth. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Really? <laughs> okay. mm. No, they started, they originally started under a different publisher. And then they were bought up by DC and became part of the DC universe. And in fact, Midnighter uh, has hung out with Grayson uh, in his comic book. Fair enough. Um, uh, Agent Thirty Seven or whatever the hell they call his comic. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so they're um, they're they're violent gay guys. Which is awesome. You would want that, but you know who your best friend would end up being? They would leave, and then you'd just be stuck with Batmite. <laughs> How did this happen? Oh, because he never leaves. Oh, yeah. He just turns invisible. Yeah. And then you have a bat cow. So, yeah. No, I, I definitely hang out with Midnighter and Apollo, and then, of course, Damien. He's awesome. Okay. Right. No, Damien, uh, Damien can eat a dick. Cassandra, <laughs> now there's someone I would want to hang out with. Uh, Tyson, you're up. I want to be friends with Tonio Trussardi from Part War so I can eat that Italian. Tonio <laughs> <laughs> And then oh. as a benefit, I'd have Pearl Jam take care of all my health issues. I mean, it'd be horrifying at first, but afterwards, I'd be fine. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> can uh, I change no. my answer? I want to live in the Futurama yes. universe because I can steal any best friend by just grabbing a head in a jar from the head jar. You <laughs> 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 my best friend would just be whoever I stole that day. Abraham Lincoln, you're my best friend today. I don't care. You can't go anywhere. What are you going to do, run? <laughs> That's my oh choice. My All right. Um, Joe. I would have to pick uh, Radagast <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> or Because he's crazy. It's not that. It'd just be it's not that. To it's an excessive out consumption of mushrooms. Does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about smoke? Mushrooms! <laughs> All right. uh, I don't know. I think the bird... <laughs> Like living under his hat would bother me after a while. <laughs> oh yeah, true. It would be yeah, shits, just shits on the side of his face at all times. I couldn't be friends with him because he's just covered. Speaking of birds covered in shit, that man is. Covered. <laughs> 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 uh, 
time. Uh, uh, Sam, mm-hmm. what, what do you have? All right, so I know I put up the argument with Sherlock Holmes, but I also have to say, uh, either Sherlock Holmes or it goes with either Sherlock Holmes or the cloned version of Professor Moriarty. Oh, so you would just go with either side based on which one was more convenient <laughs> anytime? No, no, no. Like, that's the argument right there. It's like, do I want to go with the master criminal or do I want to go with the master sleuth? It's kind of difficult to pick between the two. Your life would never be dull, though. There's only one choice. because You wouldn't be able to stay with Moriarty at all times, so you just get caught by Sherlock. You'd have there, to be friends with Sherlock. Oh, yeah, but that's still not a bad thing. I mean, I'm waiting for the bad side to this. This is a just, non-drug using just, Sherlock, by the way. You can just replace um, <laughs> Robot Watson. Oh, so the boring Sherlock. Everyone knows the best Sherlock is the stone Sherlock. <laughs> yes, but this one, again, is in the folk, future. Folk stuff, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, so Sherlock Holmes. Definitely chilling out with Sherlock Holmes. That'd be fun. I, like I said, I'd probably replace oh God. Watson. Accurate Sherlock Holmes in the future when drugs are incredibly potent would be the most stoned. To be fair, he only did coke when um when there when there was no case to occupy. Yeah, but his like mind. imagine Sherlock Holmes now with days on K2. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so much oxygen. Oh, Just Sherlock Holmes on bath salts. <laughs> Would be Dre, who would your best friend be? Uh, is that even a, is that even a, a question? Was considering Marissa, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> she is like, yeah. Even if you're, yeah, like, like, I mean, she'd still be dating Alice, but it's like. I I I need to date her. She's like the best, the, the best girl bro ever. She's just this. She's that that hot blooded, the super tough anime girl who 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 will just always be there for you. Just always have your back. And just respond, just like responds to everything with a with a with this big stupid grin and a hearty laugh. Fair, fair just, just be such a joy to be around, yeah. <laughs> to hang out with. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah, fair enough. Hello guys, Dillstrator here over from SuperFanCom. Today's episode is brought to you by The Greenhouse Tea, a wonderful website with tons of different teas that I drink myself even when I'm editing these episodes. Jailist.com, where you can find everything under the Japanese sun for all your anime needs, and if you use the code below, you'll get 5% off your entire order. Or, if you're the kind of guy who needs more Japanese goodies in their life, and really, who doesn't, then check out our newest sponsor, Kawaii Box, a monthly subscription box full of plushies, squishies, and tons of different candies. Look in the description box below for all... Ah, thank you again, Deej. Hope everyone is enjoying this insane episode. I'd like to thank everyone who joined in on this show, like Fanboy Gif, Tiger, Hemlock, Joe, Sam, and the ramblings of Dragonix. Thank you all for stopping by. Also, we are brought to you by the Humble Bundle. We can get great games at low prices directly in your inbox. They also are now carrying Nintendo Switch games. And we are brought to you by Think Geek, the home of things geeks and nerds love like Doctor Who, Legend of Zelda, Star Trek, even the Golden Girls. Also, if you're into comics and in the Connecticut area, hop on by Bobby's World of Cards and Comics, located at 749 B114 Saybrook Road, Middletown, Connecticut, 06457. They have tons of comics, board games, miniatures, half price bins, 50 cent bins, and other cool things. Also, check them out on the website at bobbysworldccg.com. Before we get you back to your regular scheduled episode, we are also on Patreon. And for $2, that's just $2, for a cup of coffee or a donut, you can get uncut episodes of this show where you don't have to hear me talking right now but also bonus content like what we record after the end of the show I then fuck Mary kill find out what that was all about also the higher you 
the higher you want to pay on our Patreon, we have better incentives. Like Deej will make you whatever drawing you like. We have panel stuff. Uh, incentives like free DVDs and comics. Also, you can donate to our coffee page. Send money to us via PayPal. Or, if you like a little something extra, we have a little eBay store where I'm selling old movies, video games, DVDs, of wrestling, more and more coming soon. I think that's all our time. Uh, I now return you to your show, already in progress. And now, back to the show. Uh, moving on to the next one, which is your love interest. Oh no! Uh, gift? Like, what do you have? My love interest. My oh, love yeah. interest. I would have to use. <laughs> oh come on! That, that is a, a that is a quality chicken. Sorry, he got excited. I would use, use Holodeck to create an accurate rendition of Space Dandy, and Dandy would be my love interest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean. He's a dandy yeah. guy in space. He is. Everything about that's spectacular. Although I would have to live in that universe so long that I forget that the outside world exists. <laughs> that the because outside otherwise world it charges. breaks the immersion. <laughs> yeah. It breaks the immersion. <laughs> Although if he pissed me off, I could just turn him off. So that's good. <laughs> there you yeah. Go. Yeah. Dandy in a holographic version <laughs> in the Star Trek <laughs> universe. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. That's my choice. I'm gonna make this really meta. That's <laughs> that, that's, that's perfect. Okay, Hemlock. Um, well, as I was saying, I am like a huge Red Hood fan, so I would be all over Jason Todd. Oh boy. So. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, he's awesome. Especially, I do uh, enjoy the new stuff with um, the new. Um, well, it's not New Fifty Two anymore, but I like Red Rebirth. Hood and the Outlaws. Was, yeah. yeah. Rebirth now. Yeah. Rebirth. It's better. It's better. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is yeah. it really? Yeah. No. No, I have some fun stuff for you. They like, didn't what? fix the issues of the new 52. They just added more to it in terms of retconning stuff by creating Rebirth. They At least that, that's my take. Superman. Yeah, but they still screwed with all of their ages and their time. Anyway, that's another. It, yeah. it just, it's arguably better. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. Um, though, as I was saying, some fun trivia, uh, going back to Duckburg, um, when I was a kid, I, my first uh, anime crush was on Launchpad McQuack. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. You know what? You know what? Respectable. Very respectable. I hope we all have a sharing um, um, we can talk about um, anime. Mine, mine was uh, Tinkerbell from the Disney version of, of uh, Peter Pan. <laughs> Why not? She's, I yes. mean, she, I mean, she had, hey, she that's had a good tiny waist, she had big hips. She was blonde know, with blue eyes. Right. She was, <laughs> I mean, she was sassy. Philly, uh, much. If we're going sassy. that one, uh, Aries are from Beast Wars. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. My, I, um, Sorry, I opened a rabbit hole. Um, no, Rick, Rick, oh, uh, one of our one of our friends from school. She said that I remember this vividly because this was her exact answer. Was Robin Hood, but not regular Robin Hood. <laughs> Robin Hood. Fox Robin Hood. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ray Trash. <laughs> All right. I, I have I have a new idea for another show in the future. Oh God! <laughs> oh, no. we're, we're really best white spiraling. Best white we are spiraling, on. man, Rick. That is not a topic we should go into depth on. When we do that episode, we're just gonna have to call it Rule Thirty Four. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. Yeah. Uh, Tiger. Oh my uh, God. Uh, see, I'm struggling the whole time we've been all talking about this. I've been really struggling with it. Because, I mean, the Persona games have, like, so many waifus and husbands, so I figure I'll yeah. just think about JoJo instead. And then I'm like, you know what? I want to be lesbians with Jolene. That worked. Oh, my God, yes. yes. Jolene is best JoJo, and I want her to crush me. Well, actually, well, actually, actually no. No, uh, I would not separate her from Hermes. From Hermes. Mm. They are, they they are, are OTP. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, Joe? <laughs> now, uh, this is basically the crush of the world you live in, correct? Yes. Because uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, the women in, like, after The Hobbit, before Lord of the Rings, the only one I can think of. <laughs> Or, or, um, uh, there's, I guess there's Galadriel, but she's dating. She was like dating Gandalf, wasn't uh, she? Yeah, uh, it's like it's pretty heavily implied that she and Gandalf had a thing. <laughs> then can I go back to my other one that I really like, the Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, Daenerys. Uh, actually, not. Nah, I'm actually not. Lady. Not a Daenerys fan. I'm actually everybody's gonna hate me for this, but I'm actually a Sansa fan. Like when she's ah, older, mm-hmm. I I have a thing for redheads. So yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Great before Don't she dies. Spoiler. Uh, I see you are in a matter of culture as well. <laughs> <laughs> but right. it's, oh honestly, God. it's pointless. Get, it's pointless Frick. getting attached yeah. to anyone in Westeros because again. Everyone just dies horribly. Yep. Yep. If you, if you do that tell, other episode, uh, yeah, I, I swear, tell, man. I, uh, I quite right. If you couldn't tell, I honestly can't stand Game of Thrones. Oh. Um. You know, if, I mean, I watched the first season and then I called it quits. <laughs> it's like if you there's do no that other point. episode. I I swear, man. There's a lot of material in a uh, in in that episode because I can already think of like. April O'Neil. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the girl we'll from Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, whose name I can't remember, who he just dumped pepper on her and she sneezed. She turned into a tomato. Yep. And I always like that because if she pissed you off, you could just make her sneeze and she turns into a tomato, and then you could just put her in the crisper and she'll just stay there for a while. <laughs> what? Uh, oh my god. Um, if you haven't seen the 1980s Attack of the Killer Tomatoes cartoon, you haven't lived. So I highly recommend finding it online somewhere. Yes. I remember um, that. Yeah, she was great. Um, Sam, I think you're backed up into a corner. There's really <laughs> nothing for you to do. <laughs> Actually, there is, because there is a female... Sherlock uh, Holmes. No, okay. <laughs> um, no because the... Uh, uh, what about the... Sherlock what about the Sherlock Holmes? Hold on. You go gay for Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> even if it's not Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, I guess there is the well, dominatrix hold on, hold on. Well, his girl from, not, from... You mean Irene Adler? Yeah, yeah, her. I would yeah, definitely her. go gay for Irene Adler. <laughs> well, hold on. Yeah, hold on, just hold on. freaking. Let the man answer. Let the man answer. Let the man speak. <laughs> well, Gif is not wrong. There is also a female uh, inspector Lestrade. Oh, Detector Lestrade. Yes. Exactly. Oh, the female Lestrade. inspector right. Lestrade. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was it's pretty actually, cute. And she can cute. kick ass. So good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. No. Like half the time, she's the one who broke down the door and has to pretty much pay for damages. <laughs> I, I'm still gonna say I wouldn't have blamed you for saying Sherlock Holmes because I decided to go gay for a hologram of Space Dandy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You weren't wrong. I'm just saying there are other options. There are other options. There are other options. They're wrong, but there are other options. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, uh, Dre. Yukari. <laughs> Definitely Yukari. Yukari. Because, um, like, she, yeah, um, she's, she's got experience. She's the ruler of Gensokyo. That's all, some major stat, major status. This, yeah, unofficial ruler of Gensokyo. <laughs> yeah. She's, um, she's, um, she's, well, she's, um, She's all elegant. She can be either elegant and refined or mischievous and fun-loving. She, you got you got best of all worlds there. You can't go wrong. Okay. Plus her power. Yeah, plus her power is basically anything she wants it to be. So she. So um. Basically, nothing is off limits. Okay. Um. All right. Next question. Your mentor, the one that teaches you about the world you're in, uh, <laughs> and instructs you on what to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. I backed myself oh, into a corner with right. from the very um, beginning. <laughs> <laughs> all right, from, 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 from my prime universe, which is, which is the, the, Star the Star Trek universe, I would probably have to go with... <laughs> I would have to go with, let's see, um, 
A holographic version. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I won't do that. That's mean. Um, <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> you get a chicken I mean, squeal for that. To be fair, to be fair, in the next gen, essentially every time they needed advice, they would just load up a hologram program of like Galileo or any other person to get like philosophical advice. So it's not that far fetched to say that. That a lot of their advice came from hologram programs of famous smart people. You could ask God. He's <laughs> chilling out somewhere. I'm sure God gave up on the Star Trek universe when they found a bunch of other planets. <laughs> well, no, well, what does Q? God need with a spaceship? Q? Q. Q. Oh, yeah, Q. You're right. Yeah, Q. I would go with Q. <laughs> He is oh, God. Yeah. Every every one of the Q's. No, there's a lot of them. There were there are a lot of Q's. Every Q, all of them, simultaneously in my brain, driving me insane. <laughs> all right, uh, hem- hemlock. Um. Well, now this is, comes in where Batman, of course. Um. But Batman, like Blue Lantern, it would also have to be Saint Walker, who is Saint Walker. the other Blue Lantern. Yeah, Blue Lantern Prime. There. Oh yeah. The OG. Oh, yeah. The man who helped make it. But wait, but not uh, what's what's the um the, the one the one guardian that decided to become Ganthet? Ganthet. Not him. Well, there was two. There was two that technically started the Blue Lanterns. Oh, that's true. It's technically, their relationship. <laughs> but not neither of them. You'd still oh, be like, nah, okay, same one. okay. Um, just just a warning. I'm currently at twenty percent power. Don't worry, we're almost done. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, kind of a short show. Tiger, show. You, tiger I think, got disconnected. Nah. Um, so Sam- oh, God, my power is... Like, uh, oh, I thought it was Joe next. Plummeting. Oh, oh, yeah, Joe, you're, you're up. Oh, me? <clears throat> uh, well, obviously, the thing I would have to pick is Gandalf, because it's Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One. Which one? Bring it again. Bring it again. <laughs> Gandalf the Gray or Gandalf the White? He would have to be or Gandalf Monty the Gray. Right. He wasn't like Gandalf Knight. the White. And Benito Mussolini and the Blue Meanie and Cowboy Curtis and Jobby the Genie. Robocop, Terminator, Captain Kirk, Jones, Peter, Lopez, and Superman. Every single Power Ranger, Bill, and Preston, and Theodore Logan, Sock, The Rock, Doc, Ock, and Hulk Hogan. Wow, I'm <laughs> impressed by yeah. your referring that. Oh, came out of nowhere like fast and a kick. Chuck Norris his cowboy ass. Yes, it was the bloodiest battle that the world ever saw. It's civilians looking on the toe of law. The fire raged out for a century. Okay, okay. Are, are we, okay. Well, well done, Dre. Well done. Yeah, no, yeah, I well done. I have memorized all the lyrics to that song. It's, uh, wow. It still holds up. The brain <laughs> cells that you have wasted, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's He's still talking. one of the best memes of all time. You had a choice at some point in your life between learning higher math <laughs> and or memorizing the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that. Uh, she chose West. Sam, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, so Gandalf, though? Okay. Yes. I'm so okay. the gray. I'm okay. glad this happened. Okay. Well, it, it, the only correct answer I have here is the only answer I can give is Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> the man from the past who's yeah. learning about the future is telling me about the future. <laughs> Even though you already live in the future and know more than him. Yes. Ha- uh, counterpoint, counter argument. Why not the guy who created and knows the technology that enabled them to thaw out a frozen, <laughs> centuries old dead man? Because it it was experimental. It, they weren't even sure it would work, but it worked. So I feel like that's a but, pretty good mentor. No, no, that's true. But sure. also the fact is that I would be learning more from Sherlock Holmes about everything else as well. Yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah, no, see, that. it's kind of an all-encompassing thing because I've learned more from Sherlock Holmes and therefore learned more about the world around me. <laughs> okay, and then we go to you, Dre. All right. Well, well, I could easily say I could easily say Yukari again because you know one of the four, one of the four sa- were sa- one of the four sages. She obviously, and she helped create Gensogyo, but that would be that would be cheap. So. That would be cheap. So, so I would probably say patchouli knowledge. Basically, encompasses every magic ever. 
Plus, she's plus she's a plus she's a an adorable sex librarian girl. Can't go wrong with that. Truth. Okay. <laughs> Um, Good choice. Final question. All right. Final question in this made-up world: Who would be your villain? The one that you fight? <laughs> like, there are like other villains, but this one is like okay. your main one, the one you're always after. Do I really have to answer this? It's obvious. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All Our right. Genesis. Mine. Mine would be probably all of Starfleet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just to make my life interesting, because you know it couldn't be that piece. Yeah. <laughs> so I would paradox my own existence in that reality, but because I'm because I'm best friends with Q, I could and he's my mentor. I could do whatever I want. So I could oh, essentially Q. wage a war against the planet that I'm living on from inside that planet, and still get to enjoy. It. And then at the end of the day, just turn on my hollow emitter and hang out with Space Dandy. Hey. <laughs> Uh, I would probably space 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 <laughs> my my boo space dandy. Yes, good. <laughs> Never say that again. Yeah. Say that again. My, my boo space say dandy. Uh, can I like that a fic? Yes. <laughs> can I have that boo is title? just such a terrible, terrible yeah. word that no one should use, <laughs> except for in the con- except in the context of of hey. scaring people. Hey. That or the little girl from Monsters I, Inc. Uh, that Pompadour. Who was best? Dandy. All right, so <laughs> Dandy. All right, Dandy wore everything best. Okay. True. All right, so <laughs> while the Reach is the natural enemy of the Lantern Corps, <laughs> um, and of course, so I'd have to be, you know, keeping my eye on Blue Beetle. Um, I don't know. I'd probably just kind of like hang out in Gotham, and uh, cause, you know, I have to be really healing those bat kids. Don't you ever threaten Heine Reyes ever again? <laughs> that man oh is my a god! Saint. He is a treasure. He is so, a treasure. Just, He's too precious for this. Him, you know, but I, I kind of like pair him with Impulse. And they'd be like cute together, so. <laughs> so you would just be matchmaking the universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Like I'm. He you know, man, I'm the, the wrong. Man. Of the universe. You're the wrong. You are the wrong lantern if you want to be matchmaking people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do not. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, I mean. I, Is your reality I'd warping like said, I'd hang out to fulfill all your shipping just, fantasies? I know. I'd hang out in Gotham and just <laughs> help out with like the normal. Um, Rogues gallery, but See, why? Right. When you're a lantern, you do whatever you want in the universe. Why the would you hang out? Reality warper. Oh, because of Batman. You just you just <laughs> yeah, want because of Batman. You just want to get Batman. that Bat Red Hood. Long. It's like Red Hood. That. Hood. Flash has a better <laughs> rogues gallery. You just want to rub that bat cot bat, 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 bat nipples. Bat <laughs> nipples. <laughs> Red Hood. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh my red God. hood nipple. <laughs> <laughs> got that big, shiny red helmet. Yes. <laughs> Those guns. You know, we're calling it. Oh my God. Sh- that's what you call that thing—a shiny red helmet. <laughs> Dark helmet. You want to press the helmet? You are right. of all yeah. degenerates. Yeah, in all honesty, I never really considered that question, so it's a good question, and I'm afraid I don't really have an answer for it. Yeah, so. that's the toughest question out of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joe. Uh, I would have to say Gollum, even though I like him, but I hate him at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is pre... This is pre all yeah, of the go- story. So oh, is he still Gollum, Gollum or is he still a hobbit? Is, Smeagol is good. Gollum is bad. Yeah, so yeah. is he still a hobbit at this point? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he's still a hobbit at this point. <laughs> Wait, so, so he's, just kind of an asshole. he's just kind of an asshole hobbit at this point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! I just, I just started. I just switched audio. Hang on, switch audio only. Hang on. Okay, sw- okay. There, there we go. There we go. Good job, Dre. <laughs> um, I clicked something. Sam, that lead you. Uh, um, wow! Well, I just did tell about, aunt- talk about my arch enemy. Oh yeah, I, I, I didn't even make, bring then. up my mentor because I got cut off. Oh yeah, you did. It's bad about that. No, you can go ahead. Right go on ahead first. No, 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 no. All right, your, men- your mentor. Okay, would it be if I switch back over to the persona one because I already know who I want my mentor to be? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, so in a world where you can basically summon your willpower, sort of like a stand, instead of, I don't want anybody to teach me that. Uh, no, I want to hang out with Sojuro from P5, and I want him to teach me how to make coffee and curry and get the ladies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? ladies. Every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not have them beat me up on Valentine's Day, though. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, nice yeah, boat. It, it, depend, it depends on how you like your Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice boat. I'd rather not be murdered. Some people, some some people pay a lot of money. Some this people pay a lot of money. Some for people that. pay top dollar for that. Yeah. I'm not one of them. Maybe <laughs> yeah, I could like, also use that advice also, to like, hit on them dudes, because that, dudes that, are what? pretty nice. <laughs> In persona, it would kind of result in your death. So, so yeah. Thank you. I'm glad someone with me on the quality of his bandos in that game. <laughs> well, I mean, because what's his name? Your best friend in five. He's actually pretty awesome. Oh fuck yeah! We stand UG in this household. <laughs> yeah, I I still have not played Persona Five or any of the personas. You need to play. Honestly. You need to play three. Yeah. Three is basically three. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> oh god. <It's> great. Yeah. <laughs> And then four is basically part four. Yes. Um, and your villain, Tiger. Oh, my villain. That's a hard one. But can it be Honestly? Can me and Honestly just fight over Jolene forever? <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. There you go. Uh, Sam. Really? I, if I have to really answer this, uh, Moriarty. <laughs> the dude oh, doesn't course. kill people. And he technically doesn't always succeed, so, to be so, fair. Wait, so he would possibly be your... But if he was your best friend, that other version, would then your villain need to be Sherlock Holmes? But he would no. also be your no. mentor. God, no. no, God, no. It'd be no. Watson if I had to go against Sherlock Holmes. I, I choose Watson. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> he's a robot. He's easier to deal with. <laughs> he's a robot. Yeah. So, wait. So, wait. Let me get your logic. <laughs> You would want to live in that reality. You'd want your best friend to be either Moriarty or Sherlock Holmes. No, your, your love interest would be the female Lestrade. Your mentor would be Sherlock Holmes. And your enemy would be... So you would have a conflict of interest between your best friends. <laughs> your <laughs> and I no would would never know. It would be the one thing... That Except for the part where they're geniuses and would figure that shit out, like, instantly. <laughs> hey, I lived a good life. I saw the future. <laughs> That's okay. I'm waging war with the Qs on the planet I live on because it's so peaceful I chose to live there. Yeah, mine is less complicated <laughs> than yours. But I only wanted to live there because they had hollow emitter technology, so I could be with my boo space standing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. And, Dre, who is your villainy? Oh, Kena! <laughs> yep. I saw that oh, coming. Oh, Okina Matara. Where do I start on Okina? <laughs> the ultimate Mary Sue of Toho. Worst character in the series. Just brought in out of nowhere. Rip off her design is a ripoff of Junko from a Legacy and Limited Kingdom. And then Zune comes up and, and says, Oh, hey, oh just so you know, this 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 lady is on the same level as Yukari. <laughs> No. I think we lost, okay? I'll uh, wrap it up for us. Uh, this was a hell of a journey. Um, <laughs> Can we get some hogs from the chicken? Yeah! <laughs> hogs! One more! Yeah! Uh, oh, God, that chicken makes me so hard. <laughs> uh, Gif, where can people find you? You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at FanboyGIF. You can also find me on YouTube at FanboyGIF and uh, now also on Discord. Throw that chicken! Give me that chicken! Yes. <laughs> Delay on this chicken! God damn it. Block, where can people find you? Oh, so they can oh, break me. that chicken. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can find me on popcultanimecon.com or on social medias at popcultanimecon. 
Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Chicken. Chicken. Where can we find you? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Got it. How do you spell that? Okay. Is that capitalized? I believe so. Is there an app before that? <laughs> <laughs> Our, our newest member, the chicken. Okay. okay. Uh, Tiger, we can be able to find you. Uh, you guys can find me at Kira Kira Names on Instagram. Okay. What about your boyfriend's work? Uh, yes. I'm glad you asked about him. Uh, he is Zachary Backus Illustrations. He recently did some fan art of, like, Kingdom Hearts. So, again, if you're a wee, you'll appreciate it. Nice. Uh, Joe, where can we able to find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, ZimmermanJoe21. I mean, I'm on Facebook as Joe Zimmerman. Um, I'm usually always at your local cons, and I'm on all the dating websites, too. <laughs> all of them. Nice plug! Oh. Well done. Just throwing yourself <laughs> out there. You <laughs> gotta get yourself out there. Sam, can, can, people, can people find you anywhere other than the 22nd century? <laughs> yeah, no, pretty much. I, I only come here when necessary. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, no, but uh, I hope to be jumping in and out of these if you guys have me. Yes. Uh, Dre's not here. I think he died. <laughs> his uh, his universe was the worst one to pick, apparently. Because yeah. <laughs> no, one, no one but me knew what he was talking about. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can find him at Dragonix on, uh... Oh, he just oh. messaged, I'm here. I, see. I am here. He's all I night. am here! Oh, I'm surprised nobody <laughs> talked about Hero Aka. That would have been probably been Deej if he was around. Um, no, we can't hear you, but you can come on, uh, Instagram. You can hear me now? There we go. Yay! Oh no! Oh my god! Was I muted for the whole time? <laughs> Throw that chicken! Ah! <laughs> with the chicken. Right. Did you hear what I was saying about Pokemon? Yes, no, we did. Yes, yes. Yeah. sure. Okay, so, Dre, where can we find you? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of, okay. Yeah, you can you can find me at Len underscore Maelstrom on there. You can find me at Dragonix on YouTube if you want to hear more of my annoying voice. It's, it's, I'm probably going to be streaming Toho Lunar Nights on. It's on my channel tomorrow, so tomorrow at nine thirty p- thirty central, nine thirty p.m. central. So check that out, and uh, and you will not find me on any dating websites because I have a girlfriend and and a friend, and I am not a thirsty bastard. So don't at me. And uh, <laughs> uh, but seriously though, did what was the last thing I heard? The thing you heard from me? Did you um, did you hear what I was saying about Pokemon? So, something uh, yes. about chandeliers. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, I was talking about chandelier <laughs> and how. And how they burn yeah. soul in eternity. <laughs> yep. And yeah, yeah. And I was saying, what's that? And I was also talking about how how my my theory is that Lieutenant Surge is from somewhere in Unova. Uh, <laughs> throw a chicken. Yeah, because, throw a chicken. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically <laughs> that's basically. It. Outro is the chicken. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, outro better be the chicken. It actually. Yeah, I was the chicken. The intro. I want the ch- I want both of the chickens to remix. Uh, <laughs> Despacita. Okay, what about Jerude Sandstorm? Jerude Sandstorm? No, sorry. Uh, uh. Okay, I can hear you trying. They're shy. All right. I'm gonna give them performance anxiety. All right, all right. I want them to do the soundtrack for my with my. Boo Space Dandy. What? <laughs> no, wait. No, wait. That's the song of the chickens. <laughs> wait. No, wait. Ultimate Shion of Ultimate Destiny. All right. You know what? That might be the ending. You can, forward their, you can forward your request to me, <laughs> and I will have them give you the yeah. Yeah. Or DJ we need the Ultimate event. Showdown okay. of Chicken Destiny. Okay. For Fanboy Gift, Hemlock Inc., Tyga, Vin, Joe, Sam, and Dre, I'm Retro Rick. You can find, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Default Rick. Follow the channel on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram at SuperFanCom Show. Contact us at SuperFanComShow at gmail.com. If you like what we do and want to uh, uh, throw some dollars our way to our Patreon or use PayPal or coffee, toss a few bucks. We also have an eBay shop where you can just find cool stuff that I don't want anymore like anime, video games, manga, movies, 
Um, all these links <laughs> and quality mangoes. Yeah. All, Man- all these links and, and mangoes. Yeah, all these links and plus our affiliates, which, is, which you heard during the break, found in the description below. For everyone in the chat, I'm Retro Rex. Like, sub, share our stuff. Uh, you know the drill. You know it. Do do what you ever fucking like. Good. <laughs> Get him with the chicken! Chicken! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone.